called Kane's Arcade. It's open on weekends only, and it's really cheap. Kane does not pass by on K without stopping in. He loves tickets, playing games, he loves prizes. So it was only natural for him to build his own arcade. He loves to see how things are built. He takes all his toys apart to see how they work. He can't put them back together, but he takes them apart. Kane spent summer vacation coming to work with me. We sell auto parts in East LA. My dad has a lot of boxes back there. He ship parts out, so I cut them up. I make my arcade games out of it. My first game I made, the basketball hoop I got at Shaggy's Pizza, and it's really cool. He taped it onto a box, and he was offering people chances to play for like a nickel. He started from that little game, and little by little, they started getting fancier and fancier, and eventually he took over the whole store. I met Kane randomly. I had to get a door handle for my 96 Corolla, so I pulled into this used auto parts store, and I just came across this elaborate cardboard arcade. I asked him how much it was to play. He's like, for one dollar, you get four turns, but for two dollars, you get a fun pass. Like, well, how many turns do you get a fun pass? You get 500 turns for a fun pass. I got a fun pass. I made mean, this fun pass that expires in one month, and you get 500 plays on any of these games. It's like, a great deal. And I started making my office. It has like a speaker on the other side I could talk through. I got tokens, my business card, fun passes, and prizes. The first prizes, I used my own toys, like the cars were my own toys. I used to like Hot Wheels when I was little. I worked from the back office, and it kept them out of my hair all summer. He would work on the arcade, I'd work on eBay. My next game I built was a soccer game. First of all, I didn't have no goalies. People said it was too easy, so I bought army goalies. Those were my blockers. I told them, is it easy now? It's pretty hard, so you get two tickets to make it in here. I'll give it a four star. Hard game, challenging game, four star. One day, Kane tells me, Dad, I want to buy a claw machine. I said, why don't you just build it? So he got an S-hook, put a piece of yarn on it, and then put a little track on top of the box. And I said, what the heck? He figured out how to make a claw machine with a string and a hook. And here's some sunglasses. These are the glasses I like the most. Store sunglasses. He bought calculators to put on every arcade game. And I go, what's that for? The calculators are here for security to see if it's a real fun pass or not. On the back, the fun pass has security number. So when you go here, you had to turn it on, you put a pin number in it, and you push a check mark button, and the big number comes out. That's how you know it's a real fun pass. My dad started the business in 1955. We have used auto parts. Most of our business has gone online because we really don't get the walk up traffic like we used to. So Kane's chance of getting one customer is pretty hard. Kane's always waiting in front, sitting on his little chair and trying to convince people to play, but not too much luck. Kane's arcade grand opening. But he never gets discouraged. He's always sweeping up and dusting off the games, waiting for customers. He only wears a shirt on Saturdays and Sundays when he comes to open up his arcade. And he's really proud of his shirt because he thought it up and he designed it. When Kane got back to school from vacation, he started telling everybody that he had an arcade. And nobody believed him. So he won't wear his shirt to school because he's afraid that kids might tease him about it. You know, he told them, hey, I got my own arcade. And they go, yeah, yeah, sure. Well, one day, my secretary comes running into the office. George, you never believe it. Somebody's playing Kane's arcade. And I go, no way. So I was looking through the security camera, watching them. And I'm playing like miniature soccer, miniature basketball. And then when you score a point, he would crawl into the box and he pulls out these little tickets out of the side of the cardboard. 
like real arcade games. Tickets come from the bottom. And I was like, this kid's a genius. Nirvan came back one day when Kane wasn't here, and he told me, you mind if I make a short film about Kane's arcade? I said, well, actually, it's kind of like a little joke around here, because you're his only customer. I was blown away. Kane's only sold one fun pass. Like, the fun pass is an awesome deal. So Nirvan said, well, what if I can get him a couple customers? And I said, that would make his day. If you can get him one customer, he'll be happy. And at that point, we hatched a plan to invite everybody in LA to come play Kane's Arcade. The idea was to do a surprise flash mob at Kane's Arcade on Sunday afternoon. And I'm thinking, who's gonna come down to a junkyard Sunday afternoon, East LA? Who's really gonna show up? Then I made a little Facebook event, which a friend posted on Hidden LA, which has over 230,000 fans. And all of a sudden, it just started going viral. And their mom put it over the internet. And all of a sudden, within an hour, we had NBC News here. Then I hit the front page of Reddit, which is like being on the front page of the internet. I started reading the comments. I wish I could be there. I, I live in New York. I wish I could be there. I live in Europe. And I went, wow. It was getting big. The plan is, I'm going to take Kane to Shakey's Pizza. We're going to play some arcade games. We're gonna eat lunch while Nirvan sets up a big surprise party. Kane has no idea what we're doing. And when we get back, he's had the biggest surprise of his life. And the idea is just to get as many people as we can to come out to Kane's arcade and just make his day. Kane's dying to have one customer show up to his arcade. So Kane is to be the most surprised little boy in the whole wide world. Hey, you ready? In about a minute, he's gonna arrive here. Hey, Kane, can we go home early today? We had no customers today. No. No? Come on, your dad's tired. No can do. No can do? Back, Kane. Wow. What's going on over here? <laughs> huh? We finally got some customers here. Kane, this is everybody. All these people came here to play your arcade. Did you know they were coming? No. Are you ready to run your arcade? Yeah. All right, what'd you guys come here to do? We came to play! Go ahead, welcome to Kane's Arcade, man. Well, the seems to be for cardboard and the A could be for arcade. But the A could also be for auto parts, because it's pop shops where it's made. And the I's got to be for imagination, of which kids got a lot. In the end, ought to be noggin' where the idea first got thought. But then the E. Oh, yes, the E. Oh, yes, the E. Oh, yes, the E. Well, the E's got to be for everybody. Because everybody's who's invited to come on down and play. If you got the pluck to try your luck, come on down to Kane's Arcade. Oh, Kane's Arcade.
and I was just screaming. So I came out of the real people, like in you know, real life. Like they're really playing the game. Then I was coming by and I heard and I saw a lot of people like, huh, I don't know. Probably like a little parade around here somewhere. It's awesome. It's all like, oh, when I sat when I was right here. I was like, oh, so, I, so I thought they cheered for me, and they were. And I was proud. 